Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your April 2022 reading. We're going to take a look at the, uh, at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Sagittarius and we're going to do a general reading which can encompass family, love, career, whatever comes through my messages I will relate to you through the cards. What I'm getting for you is this, this big a sigh of relief is happening for you where something's going to come in something's going to break i feel this is that breakthrough moment and we do have a big energy shift going to take place in the month of april it is going to be a unique and rare opportunity for a lot of us to make that leap of faith or to just say oh, I can breathe again. Things are getting ready to turn around. So we're going to take a look at you. We're going to look at whoever or whatever you're dealing with. But let's start with you first. All right. So the first card that I have for you is temperance. That's what I'm talking about. You've been very, very patient, waiting, wondering, and maybe even to the point over the last 12 to 24 months, one to two years where you're saying, is this ever going to get better for you is this ever going to happen whatever it is it took a lot of patience and with that patience came that burden and the testing over and over again of your ability to manifest and your own confidence in yourself to do this so this patience it may have been really tried from the month of December all the way through the month of March and in April you're going to say oh Thank you. <laughs> Finally, thank you. We have the Knight of Wands, and that's all about you. Getting on your horse and getting ready to take action. You may have felt very stuck while you're being patient, waiting, wondering, and trying to keep your vibration high in order to manifest things, because that is key when it comes to manifesting. For those of you who uh, want to learn how to do it, my book is, is, is link in the description box below. You can check that out. It's available now. It puts you into this two of swords energy where you're feeling that, mm, I don't know if I should. I don't know if I even believe in my own self. This was a complete lack of confidence in being able to manifest. But the truth is you really did know how to do it. The last thing that you needed was the gates to open for you to rush through those gates. And that's what's happening right around the middle of April. Now, the numbers that I'm seeing for you is the number 2020, April 20th, is going to be a key moment. And that is the second, that's like the beginning of the third week. So it's right in the very middle of the month, or real close to the middle of the month, right in that week. But you're going to be making a decision, and this is going to be a decision for you that is not going to be easy. You're going to have to tap into not your thoughts, not your heart. You're going to have to tap into the center and balance out to make a, a, a decision based on discernment, okay? Where you're going to use all the wisdom inside of you to make this decision. One you've been very, very much waiting for. So we're going to look at some of the detail and see where we're going with this. You have the Queen of Wands, and that's the confidence that I'm talking about. All of these cards are saying, yes, you've been through a lot, all right? The, the Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, definitely, Sag, you are in your own reading, whether you're dealing with another one or this is absolutely about you. Now, it is general, so it could even be somebody that you've been very close to, even a neighbor a friend where you've been watching them go through this journey but I really believe that this is for a lot of our own Sag in our community we have the five of swords and this is the inner struggle this is a battle this is a war that has been going on where you needed to take and make a decision so again over the last one to two years if this is a relationship of any kind whether that's with your career you know people you work with family or your own partner and uh, children, I feel that there's been a lot of arguing, a lot of battling, and that wore you down. And you know, just like this inner knowing that it will come to something positive. So you've had to really be tested in order to, to be patient waiting for this. You had to work hard at it with the Eight of Pentacles. This is putting everything you had into it and overcoming this challenge of that feeling of defeat 
All right. And if you're dealing with somebody who has that one upmanship attitude, which we're going to look at in a minute, that again was putting you right into that place of a lack of confidence. If you're even wondering, is this ever going to happen? Is it worth the energy? Is it worth the effort? So let's take a look at whoever you're dealing with, because this is going to be very, very big where those gates are going to open up for you and you're going to know exactly what to do. It's going to release you from that two of swords. You're going to jump on that horse and you will take action. And that action is going to, it's like, yippee, <laughs> you know, like, like you're going to a rodeo, you know, like you, you know that this is going to lead you to something amazing. Now we have the, the moon card. All right. So if you check the calendar, I'm betting that the moon in, uh, the moon cycle is going to be right around that time of the month in April. But it's also about the energy shift that I'm saying is coming through. There is something going to be revealed. Uh, uh, the gate is going to open up. Whatever was the lock on the gate, you're going to see it. You're going to figure it out. Okay, you're going to see what was keeping you stuck, what was keeping you repressed from forward movement, and you're going to bust right through it. There you go. You're going to cut it right with that sword. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Sag. Now we have the Queen of Swords, and this is a um, definitely a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius individual. And I feel that for a lot of you, it is going to really create new balance. Now, I don't feel that you've been fighting with them the entire one to two year time frame for these of you, um, those of you in that time frame. I feel it's been since December, since the holidays of last year, the last several, you know, few months you've been going through this. Is this ever going to happen? I'm so tired of dealing with the sassiness and some of you, this is somebody cheating on you. Absolutely. Okay. So you may have felt restricted by that person not telling you the truth. However, the truth is going to come out and you're going to see it and that'll be that what's going to bust that lock. Again, I do my, um, we're back to doing the romantic readings every Friday. I will do the general reading and then I will put in the membership right here on YouTube. You can see the extended that will be for your zodiac sign broken down by zodiac signs for the extended. Some of you, this is a contract that you felt stuck and trapped to, and this contract has really led you into this, you know, this feeling of insecurity. All right. Maybe you didn't read it. You missed a part that was in the fine print and you missed that section. I feel you were bound to this by a contract, bound to sit there and wait this contract out. Now the contract could be severing itself most definitely, but let me say you've got something new coming in after the 20th, this new that's coming in because you have earned it. Take a step back and really weigh this situation out. Whoever you're dealing with, they've got a lot of secrecy inside of them that kept you in that two of swords energy. Do your research. Look at it from all angles before you make a decision, a final decision, because whatever decision you make is going to free you. Okay, it will free you up. All right, making that decision is what's going to release you to jump on your horse and take action. But for some of you, I feel this individual, we also have the sign, uh, before I go on, uh, the sign of Capricorn is in this reading. The sign of Scorpio is in this reading. The zodiac sign of Aries is in this reading. Libra is in this reading. And you yourself, a Sagittarius, a fellow uh, Sagittarius is in this reading as well. So let's look at the detail because I feel this person is very cunning, very um, sharp with their words. If this is a family member or your own partner, yeah, you even got the Ten of Swords here. So they've really put you through a lot, a lot of burden, a lot of weighted energy. You even have the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck saying it's been a really long time. You're going to feel a sense of freedom, and I'm telling you, this energy shift is going to release a lot of people, not just the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. This energy shift that's coming up is going to be amazing. So please subscribe so you can watch the energy shift reading that I've got coming up. 
this situation is going to put you back into balance. This individual was not, and they were creating, I feel they're a manipulator, they're a liar on some level, but they definitely uh, finagle. I hear the word finagle. Okay, so they tweak something so that you couldn't see it. So if this is a career opportunity that you felt bound by a contract, a relationship that you felt bound by a contract, you are going to see the truth and you're going to be able to take that sword and boom, cut it. Now, what direction you go is going to be up to you, but you will feel the sense of freedom very, very soon. The 20th is your number, 2020-2020. And I see it over and over and over and over and over again. So it's going to be repetitive numbers like that. And I feel it's more about the 20 Okay, then it is a two and a zero. I feel it's 20 is actually the number you're going to see over and over again. And I don't mean in the date, although, it, you know, the, the year is 2022, but I feel it's in something else. There's a lot of negative energy attached to whoever or whatever the situation is. And again, it really threw you out of balance. The good thing is, is you have the five of swords on here where they took this um, to a totally different level and they kept you bound. They kept you feeling in this argumentative type of an energy. But the nine of swords with, uh, you know, the nine of swords, this person has a lot of fear of losing you, a lot of fear that if they tell you the truth, you're going to leave. So I feel it was like a, a cover up story so that you wouldn't know the truth because they did something wrong that would make you leave. Now, if you're open to it, even though they hurt you because they themselves are going to feel so much regret, remorse and pain over what took place. The nine and the 10, okay, it's coming to a completion with this situation, especially for those of you where it's been one to two years, 12 to 24 months. You're gonna feel freedom from this. You're finally gonna feel release and this justice is going to take place. Not revenge, but justice is going to take place where you can get up and you can move forward. Now, this is quite a lot. This is very, very heavy reading. So I hope you guys look at this video more than once so that it can help guide you through the month. It can help pick you up over those 20 days where when you listen to this, you have the inspiration to know the inner confidence is going to be restored. Okay, it will be restored to you. So keep working on this and you are going to know how to uh, find your way out because that gate the gate is being busted open. Now we have the card of service for you. Volunteer your time. Donate your time. Put your energy and effort into humanity overall in general. You don't even have to donate your time. You can create your own little business. You can do whatever you want to do. Make shirts and sell them. But this is about you focusing your energy in a different direction. That's going to help you over the next 20 days, actually the entire month of April, as you get on that horse and you take action. For some of you, that's what it has been about, is giving to humanity, trying to create this new organization. And I do feel it's non-profit for those of you that uh, it has to do with the business. It's a non-profit business where you yourself are going to know exactly what to do and what direction is coming for you. So you guys, I hope that this reading helps you through the month of April. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Much love.